Hey guys and gals, Nary here for Dragon Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm, Chaney, we're up, and let's go. Right here, okay. <clears throat> Alright. Considering how you got here in the first place, the room gave the room Tori gave you was more than generous. There were two other smaller rooms divided by a living room of sorts. Judging by how it looked, the left room was a lot bigger compared to the newer, to the other one. This wouldn't go well. The way it was set up, it was almost like your place. Two of you would stay in the room on the right, and the others would be there together in the left one. Given what happened today at the beach, it would be an awkward. It would be awkward if you were paired with him. Hey, don't you guys? Oh, let me do that. Hey, don't you guys feel like taking a bath? I heard there's a hot spring here. Ah, uh, no, I rinsed off at the beach. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I did too, but I wanted to try it out. Hot Springs, sign me up! I thought you'd never ask. I wouldn't mind Hot Springs. Those are good for our bodies. I, uh... Sure thing. I'm curious. Never been in a hot spring before. Then it's settled. I'll stay here with Anders, then. Ah, uh, you don't have to worry about me. I'll look around and see if there's anything I can do. Huh, are you sure? Yes. Okay, then. Looks like I'll be joining you guys in the hot spring. Hmm. Wish you would have stayed here instead. More reason for me to join you guys, because I know you're planning something weird. What? I would never. Please don't do anything weird in the hot spring. It's sacred. It is? No, it's not. <laughs> you're too naive, Henry. Hey, it's my first time. I wonder what else is your first time. <laughs> It's not your business. He walked in closer towards you while he moved his hands around as if he was going to grope you, but he was quickly stopped by Lars and Mark. Grow up! What he said. Huh, since when are you two this close? Never! Well, all three of you, stop messing around and let's head to the hot spring before it's dinner time. Yeah, I agree with Mr. Parker. <laughs> Making a weird face right now. You know what I'm thinking about. I guess. Banging. Hold on a minute! Huh? Oh god, that's penis. I wasn't expecting everyone to be naked! What do you mean? This is a, this is onsen etiquette. Still! Come on, you're just being a baby right now. Yeah, what he said. Of all the times, why are you guys ganging up on me right now? And you, you two are supposed to bail me out! Well, I want to enjoy the hot spring with all of you. M me too. Now, undress yourself. <laughs> no! Why are you so chill about being butt naked in front of everyone? Why not? It's not a bad thing. I'm not chill. It's okay. We're not letting you out anyway. But why? I just want to see you naked. This will be the only time I'm agreeing with him. You two are pervs. Mr. Parker. You made this sad puppy face while looking at Mr. Parker, hoping that he'd help you. He looked away, though. Ah, uh, I should start cleaning myself before going for a dip. What the? Lars? I, uh, maybe you should join Mr. Parker. Such betrayal! Mark and Coach Gale were practically dragging you while the other two just walked off. They are probably feeling guilty, but they couldn't do anything. Mr. Parker! Lars! I'll bring you two to hell with me! See? That wasn't so bad. My pure body. My temple. Hey, if your body's a temple, shouldn't people be visiting it? Oh, well said. Just let me be. Now I understand why Anders didn't want to join us. I wish I was Anders right now. Henry. Don't talk to me. I'm mad. Hmm. I guess you're mad at me, too? Hmm. You weren't really mad at them. You were just upset that they didn't even try to help you out back there. Henry will remember that. Ha. Ah. But he was right. It's not that bad. Tell you now. Water time. Hmm. Especially that they're naked right now. Yum. Ugh, is this a dream? You tried your best not to stare at them, especially since they were very, very gifted. And Mark wasn't bothered at all, though. He just started swimming around the hot spring. Mark, I think it says no swimming in the hot spring. That's fine. Come, join me. Hey, it says no swimming, so no swimming. Huh. Huh. Never seen you listen to him either, ever. Hmm. Henry, hey, Henry. What now? Come here. Uh, hold on. I'm not trying to drop my towel from my head. Come close. Come faster. Why is he being so complicated right now? I'm here, your majesty. What do you need me for? 
Oh, you still have your glasses on. Won't they get foggy? Hey, I have that anti-fog glasses spray thingy. Oh, okay, that's cool. No, anyway, which one do you think has the biggest dick? What? Huh, something wrong, Henry? No, all good. Sorry about that. You don't have to worry about these two. They're young. Let us old men enjoy this well-deserved rest. We're not even that old. Hey, Lars, say something. Why should I say something? I admit that we're not that young anymore. God, I don't accept this. Hey, why are you moving around like that? Your dick is swinging. God, I got some water from your dick on my face. Watch your language. Our students are here. I don't give a fuck. Lars, hold him down. Uh, you two never let me rest up. Maybe I don't want to see that at all. Well, let's leave them be. Back to Mark. What do you want about? Look, I know you've been checking them out. Don't have to pretend that you haven't. This kind of situation won't come twice. This is your chance to enjoy him to the fullest, am I right? Ugh, hit me where it hurts the most. So, which one? Do I have to? Yes. Ah. Those big boys unaware of the situation were enjoying their hot spring while Mark and you were comparing their dick sizes. Talk about inappropriate. Ugh, I'm sorry, you guys. Mark made me do this. Coach Gill. Of course it's gotta be Coach Gill. You sound pretty sure about that. I wonder why. Why not? You actually enjoy him teasing you like that? A little bit. Maybe a little bit. No wonder. Huh? What do you mean, no wonder? If I were you, I wouldn't get along with him at all. It's not that I hate it or, I hate it or like it. I just can't explain it. Maybe I'm just getting charmed by him. <laughs> You're saying it like it's a new thing. What? You've been charmed since, like, a week ago. I suppose he's right. Cat got your tongue? Certainly. You're supposed to deny that. That's true, though. I guess Coach Gill is just charismatic like that. Ugh, love dogs. Go bang or something now. Wait, what? He walked away, sulking in the corner. Maybe it was best to leave him be for now. Henry. Yeah? I can hear everything you talked about with him. There's no need to hide it from me. Oh, well... I wouldn't mind that, though. I'm glad you're liking what you're seeing there, Henry. But I wouldn't mind showing you more later. <laughs> what do you say? You and I together? One night? Despite not being able to see through the steam clearly, he managed to find your most precious orbs. Not expecting that, your instinct told you to jump and splash him with some hot spring water. Hey, you guys. Hmm? What is it? I think I'm done for now. I need to help Toro with some cooking. Oh, you're gonna help him? Yeah. Okay then, see you later, Lars. We'll be here for a while. Alright. I guess it's just us here now. Let's relax here for now. Ah, hot springs are the best. My fur feels so soft, too. You'd say it was fun, but your first hot spring but your first hot spring bad experience outweighed the good. I wonder how Aunt Anders is doing. One second, y'all. It is water time. He's probably outside drawing something. Oh, he draws? He does. Cool, I didn't know that. Ah, there you are. Tora? Good timing. Dinner's almost ready. Lars asked me to fetch you guys. Ah, alrighty. Right, I should tell Anders. Oh, don't worry about that. I told him before looking for you all. Oh, okay. Let me guide you to the dining room, then. Everything totally felt different here. The room, bath, hot springs, even the dining room were all alien-looking. There were several sets of tables and cushions, but only one was occupied. Anders was there sipping tea. The tables are so short. Where are the chairs? What's happening? Those are what we call Chebadai. Beneath them are Zabaton cushions. Oh, did you know that the legs of a ch of a, ch a Chabadai can be folded? I've never seen it ever. How could I know about that? <laughs> Fair point. Oh, you guys are here. Hi, Anders. How was the bath? Um, it was fine. You don't sound too sure about your own words. It was fine. We had some uh, technical difficulties, but everything went fine. Technical difficulties? Did something stop working? I need to fix that. Ah, no, it was perfect. I meant Henry here had some trouble, so we helped him. Oh, that's good then. What was it about? We just, uh, I didn't know what to do, so they told me. Ah, uh, okay. I'll go back to the kitchen. You guys wait here, okay? Don't mind us. Take your time. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled in front of him like that. So, uh, what have you been up to? I didn't really do anything. Looked around the inn, talked with some inn in helpers, and that's it. Oh, they offered me some Wulong tea. What is Wulong tea? Wulong. Yeah, what is it? 
It's it's better that you taste it yourself. They left some cups for you guys, so help yourself. Ah, okay. You notice that it didn't look like your usual tea. There were some dark, hueish leaves that looked pretty rough and dry, despite being inside the teapot. I guess they roasted those leaves? They looked weird and wrinkly. As you poured some cinnamon into a small cup, the aroma reminded you of cinnamon, or maybe even caramel. Hmm, never thought it'd smell like that. You took a sip. Weird, you couldn't make out the taste, so you took another sip. Huh. Weird. How do you like it? I don't know, it's weird. I agree with Henry, it tasted weird. Oh, I like it. You like anything you can shove into your mouth, I'm not surprised. W what It's fine, but this is too dark and concentrated. I prefer light oolongs. Huh, okay. Sorry for the wait, dinner's ready. Lars, Tor, and several inn staff people were brought the food. It looked like a feast for the for kings rather than a rather than a dinner for some random customers. That's a, a lot of food. Yeah, is, is this okay? Well, you're our only customers right now. We felt a little bit generous today, so don't worry about it. We also got got help from a pro. He patted Lars on the back. It was true. Lars was a great cook. I'm not sure if we can finish this though. Don't worry about it. Hey, you shouldn't waste food, you know. I'm sure everyone will be able to finish it, trust me. I think so, too. You put too much faith in this group, that's a bad idea. Oh, what's this nice-smelling water? Oh, that's sake. Oh, it's that alcoholic drink, isn't it? Oh, ho this is my thing. Normally, I'm against drinking, but I'll make an exception for now. Technically, you guys are adults now, so drink away. Disclaimer, that was a bad example. Don't listen to what he said. Smells great. I don't drink, though. Me neither. I guess I'll drink just a little bit. Well, the food won't eat itself, so please, enjoy yourselves. Don't mind if I do. Right, before we dig in. Huh? I'd like to thank Mark for bringing us here. What? Well, don't be so dramatic. No, you know, water time. Oh boy, do I have a lot of editing to do in this video. Alright. Still, thanks to you, we had a great time together. Not as teachers and students, but as friends. Well, I guess it's fine once in a while. Pour some sake. Let's be wild tonight. I guess once or twice is fine. I'll stick to water. <laughs> hey, Tora, come join us. Huh? What? Come on! He looked at him expectantly as he waited for his answer. Fine! Everyone was chanting Mark's name and then raised their cups for him. Here's for Mark! For Mark! Oh, you guys make me blush. If not, please appreciate us for once. Huh, I didn't say that I don't. Uh, fair enough. Let's eat, everyone. Food. You guys are wild. <laughs> How did Lars end up helping you, Tora? Oh, I haven't told you guys, huh? We just talked briefly at the beach house. He was curious about the village, so I told him everything he wanted to know. Eventually, we ended up talking about the inn, so I told him that we could use some help in the kitchen. I don't know why I decided to ask him, but it almost looked like so it was almost like something spoke to me. I must say, I don't regret that decision. He was great in the kitchen. It was almost like he was born for it. The way he handles knives, how he steams the buns, preparing the meat. Everything was perfection. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. And before I head off y'all, I wanted to give a very special thank you to our... What is it? Our silver and gold tier patrons. For the silver tier... Well, there's two of them. There's a bunch of bronze tier. Thank, thank y'all so much for your support. And for the silver tier, we have Cade Silvermoon. Thank you so much, Cade. And for the gold here, we have someone named Amr. It's Amr. It's either Amr or Amr. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. Please forgive me. But anyway, thank y'all so much for all you've contributed to the channel. It definitely helps make our lives a bit easier, especially with uh, that we're still freshly moved to another state. Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.